it is very clear that the diagnostic system we have in psychiatry, uh, for example, the DSM system invented in America, is very unscientific. Actually, to, to such a degree that the National Institute of Mental Health has declared that they will not use these definitions in research any longer. They are a disaster. And uh, these definitions have become so broad, helped by the drug industry, that many totally normal people could easily get a psychiatric diagnosis. I can give you one example. Recently, I lectured for 100 people with all sorts of background, but what was common for them was that they tried to help psychiatric patients. So some of them were uh, psychologists and some were so social workers and so on. And then I tried three commonly used tests on them, one for mania, one for depression, and one for adult ADHD. They got so many diagnoses that up to half of them got at least one. Could you speak a little bit about the idea that we sometimes read in the media that mental illness is underdiagnosed? <laughs> <laughs> this is, what can I say apart from laughing when you say that psychiatrists say that mental illness is underdiagnosed? We have an incredible overdiagnosis problem. And of course, you can find some people who are not diagnosed and who would benefit from psychological help. Psychotherapy works for depression, for ADHD. It works even for schizophrenia. This is really what we should be doing instead of drugs. But that's not what they're thinking of. When they say the population is underdiagnosed, they always think of their horrible drugs and not of psychotherapy.